what's good downtown las vegas you already know what it is i am a kill the real deal with zeal and mass appeal and i'm kicking it meeting at the market with chop 808 chop 808 oh bam <laughs> yo congrats my brother your album not your average rapper just dropped november 13th 2015. <laughs> yeah man it just dropped it's a beautiful thing um like you said, 11, 12, 13, or 11, 13, 15. That's what I meant to say, 11, 15, 11, 13, 15. And basically, this right here is what you need to see it in life. Basically, huh, there you go. You can hold it like that for the people to see. Um, it just has everything on there, man, from R&B to hip-hop to pop. It just has a lot of things on there. And you should definitely go get it. It's on iTunes. It's, it's on SoundCloud. It's everywhere, guys. Not an average rapper. And my name is Chop808, C-H-O-P-808. Yo, Chop, thank you for coming out to meet with me again. I know we already had you rocking the stage at the Downtown Podcast. And let me tell you, I do my thing, a little bit of public speaking, a little bit of music, but seeing you perform, that energy, that spark, that way you connect to the audience, honestly, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything like that. And I'm just curious. How, do, how is it getting into that zone? How do you find that zone, and how do you connect with the audience like that? Well, I did a lot of studying about old hip-hop um, and how they really were able to be MCs and connect with the audience on a personal level so that, you know, that they can get something, to, um, get something out of it. Um, I always say, um, say, for instance, when you go to a hip-hop show, when you go to an R&B show, whatever the show is for an artist, for that moment in time, you got to make them forget about everything that they're doing, whether they're working, they're working a nine to five, they're, you know, they're going to a dead end job, you know, whatever, or they have dreams that they haven't fulfilled yet. You got to make them forget that for that moment so that they can enjoy life. That's what music should be about anyway, so that sometimes people need that break of just from life. All right, let me relax. Let me take some time to myself. And that's what I want to do. So I give a lot of energy. I, talk, I you know, I, I rap with, you know, a, a whole bunch of, like I said, energy and character to bring people in to make them love me more. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That's 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 you know, that's that's where I stay as far as how I'm able to captivate the audience with myself, character and energy. All right, and. I got to tell you, I'm blown away and I appreciate as an artist that you are on that mission to make people step out of whatever it is that stress, man. That's beautiful. But you got to have some times when you had an audience that wasn't vibing with you. And how did you deal with that? Well, all right. So basically it's 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 me being staying true to myself and always giving 100 percent as long as even if even if um I'm at a place where it's like, dang, the people are not feeling it. It's one person in the crowd. I always keep it a memo in my mind to give 100% because that's the that's me. I don't never want to lose me on stage. And as long as I have me, I can give no matter whether it's one person, nobody in, nobody in the crowd, or it's a million people in the crowd. I will always be me. Yo, I got mad respect for you, brother. Where did all of this passion, where did it all start? Where did you get inspired to grab the mic and touch people's lives and hit them with that positivity? Well, um, you know, long story short, I'll make it very short for you guys, very insightful. Um, at, at, at the age of 10, I really wanted to sing. And, you know, I sung for like three years. And then my friends were like, you know, I moved to Vegas in the eighth grade. And they were like, bro, oh my God. I love your Southern accent. Why don't you be a rapper? I was like, oh, I don't want to. I really want to sing, guys. They was like, well, Man, I'm telling you, you should rap. So every day I would work on my raps, work on my raps, work on my raps until the point where I was just like, that's it. That's that's this is what I want. So that's what really influenced me to rap. I guess, you know, in eighth grade, when somebody pushed me towards wanting to be something and stepping outside of the box of what I wasn't used to before. There you have it. Chop 808. Yo, you need to connect with this positivity. Check him out on chop808.com. Stay connected with them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that at chop808. Thanks again for meeting with us at the market. My brother.